Today on the show, we are talking wellness business with Factory Six and school starts soon at the Certified Hypnotherapy Training School. So we'll be talking a little bit about that. And school starts soon for kids. Fingers crossed. All this and more happening right here, right now. Here we go. And welcome back to the show. So, why in this country do we start school anywhere from the second week in August to the second week in September? Shouldn't that be standardized? Literally. What Wait, a pain in the butt. You so, mean across the board so everyone starts at the same time? Yeah, or, so kids around the country. But so, they get out at different times too, and then they take their holidays differently. I don't know. I don't understand it either. It seems weird to me. Well, it's it's a weird situation going on now. But it just, we're, you know, if you're planning a vacation in August under a normal year, obviously this year isn't, but right. how do you get, you, it kind of takes the month of August out of, out of Play. your schedule. Yeah, right. because, you know, some kids coming from different parts of the country. So mm -hmm. when I become president, yes. by the way, on this show a uh, year ago, I predicted that Mitt Romney would be the Republican nominee for, I thought that Trump the was going to quit. No, I just thought Trump was going to quit, so okay. I was wrong. You were wrong. But we were doing a show yesterday, another show that I do online, and the woman looked at me and said, our guest was a um, investment banker who does some political stuff. She said, you look like a Republican senator, and I was like, offended. How dare she? Exactly. She has no idea who you are. Yes. I'm Proud non-Republican, non-Senator, poli sci major. Yes, exactly. So I, I... You talk politics with Tripp when you really want to know the good stuff, because you get it. Well, I... I know. don't, which is why I don't talk politics. Well, I, I know. But uh, if we could... I'll run for president under the caption that all schools start the same day. So I you can love plan it. Sylvia's going to kill me if I don't have you talk about why cake with cereal. Here's the thing is, so you have unsweeted cereal, uh, you know, so just cereal. Cheerios. With it. Yeah, Cheerios. Was the picture we had. Yeah, and then you put birthday cake in to sugar it, and it is so good. The, f the flavor is wonderful. It is, you pour the milk over the top. It so is so good. So I hate good. milk so much that I will have cereal as like a treat, but I do half milk, and then I do water to like water it down further. And then I have to have ice so it like pretty much doesn't taste, like it has to be so cold. Today's show is not brought to you by Utah Dairy Farmers. Nor breakfast that's healthy in With any cake. way, shape or form. What are we gonna do next? <laughs> okay, coming up next, we have our business wellness news you can use coming at you. So you're gonna wanna stick around. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and my passion has always been to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. TV has helped my pillow become the amazing company that it is today. So my employees and I want to thank you with some of our best prices ever. Go to mypillow.com right now and click on TV specials. You'll get deep discounts on my pillows, mattress topper sheets, and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regular $89.99 for only $29.99 with your promo code. Today's Talk 365 TV's Wellness Minute is brought to you by Factory 6. And welcome back to the show, Trip Mitchell, Holly Love. We're in new studios coming up. We're excited about that, but some mm -hmm. new companies uh, associated with the show. Yes, we have been working with Factory 6. This is new, old um, working relationship. We love all of the guys down there. They were with a couple different companies I've worked with along the way as they have formed this company. We have some really cool interviews coming down the pipeline because they are a manufacturer of hemp-derived products. They solely devote their attention to manufacturing that and they were one of the first to lead out. Now this is a huge industry. Obviously manufacturing is like a billion dollar industry in Utah. Did you know that? I did not. I'm surprised. I actually thought you were going to teach me something here. I was looking forward to it. But if you had a dollar, this is this is math here. Uh -huh. If you had a dollar for everything that I don't know, right? You'd have 100 125 bucks. You, that's about it? Yeah, just 125 Only things. Only 125 things. This is one of them? Yep, this is one of them. Can I get $125 for every time I know something you don't? 
Uh, we'll get to that after I this next break. I think we should break. do that math next. Okay. okay. Um, back to Factory 6. Okay, so basically they are a manufacturing company that is totally devoted to hemp-derived products. But what I'm so excited about is the way that they work with any type of business. You can be like a bootleg, an entrepreneur out of your garage that just wants to start something. And they're like, come talk to us. They call it the Willy Wonka tour. They give you like the full opportunity to see everything they do from potions and lotions and creams and oils and tincture and everything across the board. They'll give you a full lesson. They're so like helpful and customer service oriented and really just want to help people understand what it is, what it isn't and how it could apply to your business. So if you have a distribution outlet already set up, they would love that. They fall right in line with you. If you're an MLM company, they fall right in line with you. They really understand MLMs and their goals and how that works. They work in a wide variety of ways, but I think I go back to every time with this, how important is it now to diversify as a business? Let's talk that. Well, you'd be incredibly naive not to. And what we've seen in the last six months in this country, that the businesses that are super agile are the ones who are weathering this crisis. This falls right in line. So speaking of products online and having a really good product and speaking of Trip Mitchell. Okay, this looks like it came on a in, from Wish. Did it, it not? It did. Trip oh. Wish, I'm gonna complain. The worst app in the world. The Open worst. that for me, will you? It's already open. Oh, my family is embarrassed by Wish. You should be because I ordered that for you on Wish, figure it out, and you should see the products that they show me because of my order. They're like, because you ordered this, here's some products you might like. Do you what want to know this? what the products are? What is this? They're terrifying products trip and they're half naked women. What is this? Look at your oh. phone. Look at your phone. This is the greatest thing. So I get, <laughs> this is, you're you welcome. have changed my life. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So I do a bunch of shows where I put my phone up or meetings uh, next Zoom to my coffee. all day. Zoom all day and it always so falls down. So now you're going to love me. But again, hello, having a product that you can sell online, having something that applies in this time is so important. And that's what Factory 6 does and Carrie's going to tell you more about it. Today's Talk 365 TV's Wellness Minute is brought to you by Factory 6. Hey guys, this is Carrie Brown from Factory 6 with your Talk 365 TV Wellness Minute. One of the most important things we do here at Factory 6 is help our customers and our clients really understand all of the opportunities that exist in the hemp world. So whether it's creating new products or understanding the processes and the testing and the quality that all goes into it, the biggest and most important part of that is making sure you're comfortable and you understand what it is you're purchasing or looking at getting involved with. What we really recommend, come down to our office, spend some time with us. Let's go on the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory Tour. I want you to try all the different CBD options. We're gonna try a bunch of different products. You're gonna drink some things, you're gonna taste some things. It's gonna be a great experience. And in the doing so, you're gonna get a better understanding of what those opportunities for you and your own business might look like. And by the way, we don't care how big or small you are. If you're a big company, you've got existing distribution and you know what you're doing, great. We'd love to work with you and create something really unique and awesome. If you're just getting started, our MOQs are really small, as low as 50 units sometimes. That means for less than a couple hundred dollars, you could have your own product line up and running. Again, Carrie Brown, Factory 6, give us a call, fill out the form on the website, somebody will be in touch with you in 24 hours or less. Moving can be one of the most stressful things you'll ever do. And at Moving APT, we specialize in taking the stress and strain out of your move. Whether you have a one bedroom apartment or a 10 bedroom mansion, you can feel safe and confident that Moving APT will get the job done. Licensed, bonded and insured, you always get the best price. That's right, we will meet or beat any quote. That's our price match guarantee. So if you're planning an out of state move within the next 30 to 60 days, give us a call. Talk 365 TV's Talking Wellness is brought to you by Certified Hypnotherapy Training School. Welcome back, everybody. And uh, Trip Mitchell, you're happy with your present? I am. And when you, a little device like this is very funny. Uh huh. And you, you notice if you're on Facebook now, you see a lot of really cool inventions that people have, and they take them direct to Facebook right. and use them to market or any digital, which is what you and Sylvia help people out with. But it's kind of a great time to be an inventor now. Right. Especially if you can figure out how to use a phone and make it multitask. Oh, it. Because you can film with it. You can. Have you seen the rings 
that just make you beautiful that oh, you can that, stick your phone in, that's what you need next. Yeah, some advice on Zoom meetings. Make sure <laughs> the people on the Zoom meeting can't see that you're working on other projects or doing right. worse stuff. This is a perfect segue because uh, Dennis at the Certified Hypnotherapy Training School, classes start on September 14th. We're so excited because Andy is close to certifying. Now, this is the best certification ever because you can basically audit the class anytime so you can take it over and over a few times and it's it's taken us a couple times so i'm doing the class as well i'm certifying because i love it so much and i believe in it so much and it's changed my life i don't plan to necessarily actually do any sessions but i've learned so much about how to help market the graduates of certified hypnotherapy training school and we just announcement time started a guild so the positive mind management certified clinical hypnotherapist guild Say that five times fast. I tried earlier and I got nowhere. <laughs> so we are creating a group so when they graduate, there is a way that we can all be together and help promote and we're super excited about that. So this is Dennis and I. This is an OG back in the day. It's from a couple years ago, but we've done a refresh on it and all of the content in this segment is so amazing we, we can't reshoot it because he, he did such a great job at explaining what hypnotherapy is, what hypnosis is, and it's going to answer all of your questions about why you want to take this school. So check it out. Talk 365 TV's Talking Wellness is brought to you by Certified Hypnotherapy Training School with wellness team expert Dennis Parker. Hey everybody, I'm Holly Love and welcome to Talk 365's special series, Talking Wellness. Today I'm at Certified Hypnotherapy Training School with Dennis Parker. Dennis, thank you so much for letting me come up and chat with you again. Thanks for allowing me to do it. You are over hypnotherapy and mental and I absolutely love this topic, but before meeting you, I have to admit, I, I didn't really understand hypnotherapy or hypnosis really, and how the two worked and how it worked to create wonderful changes in people's lives like I do now. So I wanna start right with that right there. Can we define, first of all, for everybody, what hypnosis is? Hypnosis is simply identified as the states of mind that the mind goes through as you go from being awake to being asleep. There's five observable states of trance, pondering, or hypnosis. All three of those terms are synonymous with us. So they're natural states of mind. Okay. So your first state of altered state of consciousness is what the world normally calls daydreaming. In the church or religious settings, they would call that pondering. So yeah. pondering in religious settings, hypnosis in the clinical setting, daydreaming in everyday verbiage. Okay. It's kind of a matter of semantics. The next state down as we go down towards sleep, we call hypnoidal trance which the world normally calls meditation. Okay. It's where you actually meditate and figure out your problems and so on. Then we go into catalepsy, which is uh, the mid-range level. It's like you're half awake and half asleep. It's kind of a hypnogesic kind of state where you know that you could just as easily fall asleep or just as easy wake up. Then we go into what's called somnambulism. And somnambulism is a state where a person is really uh, off into their imagination and the dictionary definition of a somnambulist is a sleepwalker. Hmm. And then the last state before sleep is called the Esdell state. It was named after Dr. James Esdell because he perfected the inductions, if you will, around how to use the mind for pain control. Mm -hmm. So for deep pain control for surgery or birthing or those kinds of things, uh, it's used a lot for that. And then there's sleep. So to kind of make it as simple as we can, there's consciousness, five levels of hypnosis, which are states of mind where you're not asleep, but in between being conscious and asleep, and then there's sleep. So if you include sleep in trance, there's actually six states of trance, because sleep is trance. Mm -hmm. So when people talk about, you know, they're afraid to go into hypnosis or whatever, it's a matter of just going down to sleep, and you do that every day anyway. As right? you're explaining this, I can almost feel myself and what it feels like to go down into the stages, right. what it feels like to be daydreaming or meditating or all of those things. Sleeping, I need to feel that more, but that's a whole other story for another <laughs> day, right? So that's hypnosis. Um, now explain uh, hypnotherapy, how you're using hypnosis to get great results for people. Hypnotherapy is the use of hypnosis, uh, trance or pondering, Mm -hmm. to gain subconscious access. Consciously, we all think the same. So if we were experiencing an environmental issue like snow, a snowstorm, consciously we would all wear a coat, change our 
leather shoes, for our neoprene sole shoes, leave for work or school early, we would make those adjustments the same. Where our problems in life come in is in our incongruent, rationalized, thinking, thinking at the subconscious level. Mm -hmm. So when we have a different set of beliefs at the subconscious level than we have consciously, that puts us in conflict. We have opposing forces now. So at that level, that's where people experience stress or uh, discomforts in the form of what people can develop as emotionally induced illnesses or emotionally psychosomatically induced illness. So that's like when you have anxiety, exactly. you have depression. Yeah. What we're doing in hypnotherapy is, is we're taking and we're aligning the two minds. Okay. So we want to have the conscious mind be the master of the director and the subconscious to be in alignment with conscious direction. So now when the minds are in alignment, now we're in what's called being single-minded. Mm -hmm. And in a single-minded state, now people can move forward towards their goals, their dreams, without he hesitation, inhibitions, procrastination. So explain exactly what does a hypnotherapist do? Our hypnotherapist, what constitutes a hypnotherapist, if you will, is a person learns how to have somebody else go into each one of these levels intentionally. Mm -hmm. And how to maintain them at that level intentionally. And then they know how to match up which therapeutic process works best at each trance level. So basically what you're saying is that is how you are using hypnosis in therapy. It gets really fast results. It's super amazing. It's virtually permanent results. But not all hypnotherapy is created equal because there's certain categories of it. Let's talk a little bit about that and explain what the difference is between coming to someone like you and what other people are doing. Most people get hung up around, you know, what they see in stage antics, you know, because the stage hypnotist needs to create the illusion that none of, none of these people are in my power. So a stage hypnotist is a hypnotist or you can get a certification as a master hypnotist. Mm -hmm. That's simply where a person learns how to hypnotize somebody else and has them go down into a, le a level of trance that we just talked about. Yeah, what right. stage would you say you're in? Like daydreaming or which of those stages um, are hypnotists working in? That's, those people are normally in the fourth level of hypnosis down, which is called somnambulism. Okay. And a natural somnambulist in the dictionary definition is a sleepwalker. And they come up and they want to be part of the show or they self-select themselves because they want to see what it's like to get the applause or play along. And, and actually it gives people an excuse to get up and act fun and silly because, you know, hey, I'm hypnotized, I can do Not whatever. my fault. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so they can have fun with it. Now the next level as far as um, what people can learn to do with hypnosis would be suggestion. Yes. And what's that? Okay, suggestion hypnotherapy, that's about 85% of what most people are doing out there that's called hypnotherapy. Okay. What that does is, is that a hypnotherapist will have them go into trance, get trance access to the subconscious, and then normally what it does is it overlays the existing predominant thought with a new predominant thought. Okay. That's what affirmations are all about, auto-suggestions, metaphor story scripts, guided imagery are all about replacing if you can, but generally what happens is you get an overlay. That's why you can buy a tape and do it at home, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so as long as you're listening to the tape and you keep that as your most predominant thought at that point, mm -hmm. uh, then you will make those changes accordingly. But the problem is, is if the underlying original fixed idea or belief system is still in place, even though you've overlaid it and you're now acting out in a new way, if you receive a stimulus back that's similar to what happened in the original belief and it's still intact, then that becomes a more predominant thought again and people go back and act that out it. again. It undoes it. And you're so, back at square one. So now you're back at square one again. Mm -hmm. And so some people have uh, been to hypnotherapy as they call it and they've gotten results for a while and they say, well, yeah, it worked for like three or four months. Then it just kind of quit. Well, what happens is, is they had a new stimulus that reactivated the underlying belief. Mm -hmm. That became the most predominant belief again, and now they act out again with what they did before. It's kind of what happens in yo-yo dieting kind of thing. And as you mentioned, you said that's like 80% of what people are doing out there and calling hypnotherapy, but it is not necessarily the fullness that is hypnotherapy here and, and what it's capable of doing. And that's the clinical hypnotherapy, and that's, that's where it's really cool. Yeah, in, in clinical hypnotherapy, we're doing what we would call an age regression and different gestalt techniques and so on. What that does is that, again, gives us access to the subconscious mind. But now we have processes to go back and find out what is that original belief. And we want to go down and we want to destructure, reframe, 
alter the perception of those memories, if you will, and clean out the weeds mm -hmm. of the garden of our mind, we call it sometimes. Mm -hmm. So we want to go ahead and pull all these weeds out first. Mm -hmm. So we get all the weeds cleaned out, and now we want to use suggestion, hypnotherapy, and so on to implant those new predominant thoughts. At whether, that level. At that level, where they're no longer in conflict with existing beliefs. Mm -hmm. Now it becomes more permanent, as you like to say, because mm -hmm there's not this dual structure still in place for the same behavior. This leads me to talking a little bit about you and why you're different here at the Certified Hypnotherapy Training School. Okay. Because like we said, there are people who are doing hypnotherapy, so perhaps you have had a chance with one of these tapes and you're like, oh gosh, it didn't help, I didn't lose a pound, I didn't quit smoking, or I didn't feel that much better, you know, a few months down the road, those behaviors are back. It is because they are not doing it at the level that you do you take it even a step further. It is what makes you unique, and it's called positive mind management. It's exclusive to Certified Hypnotherapy Training School. It is your discovery, and it has to do with the imagination, how the imagination affects our emotions, and how our emotions drive our behaviors, and if we can control those three, we can eliminate the things we don't like about our behaviors. So let's talk about positive mind management, because this is your baby, and it's what makes you amazing. Okay, what we do differently, um and what we're claiming our discovery is, or my discovery we've written books about and so on, what we believe is a more fuller, richer understanding of the subconscious mind. So in the subconscious mind, there's basically three compartments, if you will. There's the imagination, the memories, and our emotions. And what we've learned is, is that we've learned how to teach people to manage their imagination. And the net effect of managing the imagination is, is that if you turn the imagination up or you amplify an image, a thought, a remembrance, whatever, that effect is, is to also simultaneously turn our emotions up. So we've learned how to turn the imagination up and we've also learned how to teach people to turn their imagination down. And when they turn it all the way down, they can turn it off. Therefore, they're also shutting the emotion off. And so that control mentally is one of the huge component differences of what we've learned to do here and we teach as a unique skill, a mental skill used as a tool both with clients and teach our students how to teach others to do that through the school. A certified hypnotherapy training school graduate is basically giving the, given the tools to do what you do. That's right. So if you're looking for some kind of standard to measure who to go to, look and see if they graduated from the Certified Hypnotherapy Training School first and foremost, because it's basically like getting Dennis himself who has had years in this industry. So those out there, if they've been inspired, if they've been motivated, they've got the message that I've thrown out that you should come to the class with me because seriously, that's where it's at. What do they do to sign up? And you also are offering a little deal if they mention they saw us on Talk 365. Okay, yeah, if you mention Talk 365, we're going to throw in your textbook package free. It's about a $200 offer, and uh, we'll include that in the, in the package by mentioning Holly and Talk 365. Love it. Do that first and okay. foremost, yes, and then signing up. When are the next classes? What do we do? Uh, you can start class anytime. Uh, we're in a series right now. If you wanted to start today, you could. Uh, we have the textbooks that you would start reading. You have videos to watch in the video library. There's 200 hours of individual training that way that you need to get out of the way. And then there's 100 hours of live trainings when they come up. Now, before we go, I've got to tell you, log on to the website. Log on to certifiedhypnotherapytrainingschool.com because I'm going to keep Dennis a little longer and I'm going to make him talk more in depth about some of these things that are very um, intense, a lot of really mm. information dense subjects here. We're dealing with from trance, what is hypnotherapy, what is the school, what are you going to learn? So go and log on to his website, then sign up for the school and then be sure and mention that you saw us here today and, and your life will be amazing and you'll say thank you, Holly. Right? <laughs> That's right. Thank no, you. We'll say thank you, Dennis. Honestly, thank you, Dennis. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. All right. Get in here. Sign up. We got class to go to us. <laughs> yeah, we got to Let's run. go get them. Enroll now. Classes start soon.
Talk 365 TV is proud to announce their new studio home, Ignite Studios, for all your video needs. And welcome back to the show. Uh, going to be a good day today? It's going to be a wonderful day. Um, I have another present for you, Ish. Okay. So this was another spree because now I shop online, apparently. And I got this on an Instagram by the Starry Sky Flying Long Mascara. Eyelash curling formula can enhance eyelashes from the root and easily create the natural curling eyelashes with clear back color, waterproof and non-staining. Maintain the charm of makeup. Method of use in eye head eyes. I end to draw the first three. Printed along the eyelash root will evenly into three lines. <laughs> this is why you hire factory sex to do your product line because otherwise you get fly stars. It, the mascara is crap too, I'm not gonna lie. It was horrible. The, on the thing it shows like where your eyelashes get super long and it lasts through a shower and it like basically smeared into my eye before I even walked out of the bathroom was like running down my face. How much did you pay for this? Probably $7. So <laughs> do you think that women overpay on all makeup? It depends on the makeup because it will break you out. So I have to use all mineral. What, who would make makeup that would make... How are you even talking about this? Because you look phenomenal and you are telling me you haven't had any work done and it's just creams and potions. It's just literally a moisturizer at night. But And here's what the kind thing. is it? Well, it's a hemp, hemp moisturizer. Nice. But I ran out and my wife put on my list to pick some more up and I went to Walmart and I looked for the hemp stuff, went right to the bottom shelf and got the cheapest stuff they have. $2. That's what you're using? It's not like a Vita approved one? No, the, it was hemp's before, but I'm switching to oh. a cheap one. Because no one will know the difference. No. It comes in a 55 no gallon one will know the difference. It won't work the same. Okay, it well, I still won't. have some hemp left. It won't work the same. Okay, so tell us about your show before we're done for the day because we're, we're super excited. We're just launching Al Bernstein Unplugged, where I'm the co-host. We're launching in the top 100 markets around the country, nationwide distribution, and we're very excited about it. Congratulations. Another That'll be show really I'm fun. Producing Brian Custer's Last Stand, launching on as big a platform. Uh, we have some amazing guests. Rosie Perez is going to talk in one of our shows in two weeks about some amazing stuff during her career, and so cool. it's both sports and general interest. I'm proud to be uh, yeah. with both shows. Well, we were thinking about you a lot because we put up the old set. We now have a new home at Ignite Studios. Uh, when you sold the station, we were a little homeless-ish, but we found a place that worked, but it wasn't a true studio with like a sound stage and all of the space, but it meets our needs for what we need to do here. But we're now back to the big old TV studio. Bob and Andy helped me put it all up. We were piecing it together. I was having flashbacks to when we started it's, this in 2014. It's five minutes from my office in my and, studio. And it'll be really fun. So it is a great location. It's downtown and it is state of the art. If you are looking for a sound stage, if you're looking for a green screen, a white background, I mean, it is so versatile. It's amazing. Contact Krista. We'll put up the information if you want to check out Ignite Studios for any of your video production needs. And then be sure and watch for Trip on all of your sports channels, apparently, because you're everywhere. That would be correct. I love it. Trip. thank you so much. Okay, we'll see you next time. Happy podcasting. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.